guilty. That's the verdict for Albrecht Muth, the D.C. man now convicted of killing his 91 year old wife, Viola Draft. She was a fabulous, uh, accomplished woman. Tonight, Draft's family says the justice was served as Muth himself listened to the verdict from a hospital bed. Albrecht Muth, a man who once said that he was an Iraqi general, is now waiting to be sentenced for his wife's murder. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live from the courthouse with reaction to today's guilty verdict. Sam? Allison, he said he was an Iraqi general and he wasn't. He said he was a count and he wasn't. He denied he was a murderer, but the jury today convicted him not only of first degree murder, but of enhancements for the crime being particularly heinous, atrocious and cruel, and another enhancement for attacking a person who was vulnerable due to age. As Muth watched from a hospital room, the jury here at D.C. Superior threw the book at him. It did not take the jury long, and you could see the relief on family members' faces as they left the court. 49-year-old Albert Muth was found guilty of first-degree murder in the death of his 91-year-old wife, Viola Draft. She may have been 91, and some people would say, well, she had a long life. Yes, she did, but she was in excellent health, and we're quite certain she would have lived years longer. Draft was 44 years older than her husband. Police say he beat and strangled her to death inside their Georgetown home and tried to make it look like an accident. Jurors saw police interviews like this one. But did you kill her? I did not kill my wife. You did not kill your wife? No. Am I under suspicion? Well, I, I, I just have a, if, if it's just that you. That's a legal question. Am I a suspect? Oh, of course I'm a suspect. That's yes. I mean, it's just you and your wife at home. Yes, yes, yes. Once arrested, Muth told the judge there would be no trial and proceeded to starve himself down to 90 pounds and had to be hospitalized, but it didn't work. And notwithstanding his antics and his efforts to avoid being tried, Judge Cannon in the criminal justice system stood up. Muth watched the proceedings from a hospital bed via video conferencing. The trial went on as witnesses like Muth's male love interests or the victim's family members told their stories. As for Muth's absence as effect on the jury, the fact that he wasn't there. Um, some jurors mentioned mentioned it, um, but the judge instructed us not to necessarily uh, vote for or against it. We're very pleased all the way around. In addition to praising the prosecution, the judge and the jury, County Draft Dwyer also praised Muth's attorney, saying that they did the best possible job for a difficult client. Reporting live from D.C. Superior Court, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.